What's up guys? Uh, Ronan Tung, I'm back again, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to put it in a cooling system. I'm going to unbox this bad boy, and then we're going to put it in... Wow, do me a favor, turn the air off. And, uh, yeah, so this is what we're going to do. I got this cooling system because my computer is way too freaking loud, and it shuts off on me because it overheats. Weird. I don't know. I don't get it. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna take this, we're going to unbox this real quick right now. Alright, let's see what comes in it. This is an Antec coal, no, cooler, H206, 620, some foam. That was very German, the way cooler spelled. Yeah, yeah I guess it's a German company. Here's the, here's the sparse, scarce instructions that come with it, because apparently uh, they're not very good, I heard. But I, have, I watched a video on it, so I think I have a good idea of what to, to do, repair the back plate. What? Yeah, well, the video's on there. It's still open over there. Yeah, I got my <laughs> laptop over there. All right. So here is the radiator, the radiator with the with the cooling machine to it. That can that fit in it? Yeah, it should. It should fit. It's supposed to fit like this, I think. It goes like that. So there's that. I like your tattoo. Thanks. Let's put that over there. All right, and then here's the uh, the fan that comes with it. I believe this faces out, right? Faces the out facing way is the out part. And these um, are actually I don't know. All the brackets. Well yeah. that's what it said in the video, man. See the other thing is the, see the, um, Yeah, but I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, here's all the brackets and everything and that's all that comes with it. So this is the um the one of the O rings for that. I gotta see if this is this fits here, so that's gonna fit there, I think. And then, oh, this goes on the back. This is supposed to go on the back somewhere. One of these is uh, something or other. I have no idea. We'll see what that does. Um, oh, this might be another one that fits on the back. This is, I think this is the one I'm going to have to use for the back, actually, because that's how thin mine is back there, but we'll see. Um, we have our various screws, double-sided tape. Am I still in frame here? You see yeah. all this? Mm -hmm. Some more of these things. I don't... There's some type of bracket things, screws and whatnot, more screws, and that's it. So, all right, guys, let's uh, we'll stop this and we'll come back, see how we can do it. Okay, guys, let's do. Uh, this is what we're gonna do. It says the instructions say to prepare the back plate. Okay, it comes with it comes with two different back plates. All right, this one and this one, and hopefully, you guys can see that I got a bunch of light sources going on. Uh, this one and this one. This is my motherboard is going to use this. All right, I'm running with the. Um, it's an uh, ASUS uh, AMD M4 N72E is the motherboard I'm using. So this is a back complaint. What you have to do is you have to pop in these little guys right here. And where are they? Okay, so take them. They're little like ridged right there, or whatever. And you just pop it right on in. Matches up. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. Alright, let me do those. Okay, I did that. All four are in there. They're nice and flush. Now, I'm, I'm going to put the... It comes with double-sided tape. And it says to put it here. I'm going to end up popping it on just like that. Alright. Um, so, we're going to do that in a second. But first, I'm going to turn around my... I'm going to turn this whole case around. Uh, it's kind of heavy. Okay. I don't know if it's framed up or not. Yeah, okay. So my it's going to go right here. Okay. Oops, turn it a little bit like that. So my thing is going to go right there. Okay. So let's just put this guy right here. It's got a whole little spot for it. Um, yeah, I guess that's good. This one. It looks like some of these have changed a little bit from the video I had watched previously last year. They changed some of their components. So I guess what's going to happen is this is going to go right in here like that. 
and stick with the sticky tape. So let's go ahead and do so. Sticky tape. That's from Dora. Sticky tape. Sticky tape. Benny the Bull. Oh, and you got, and you got kids. Alright. That sucks, man. Alright, that's it. It's on. Boom. I don't want to force it or anything like that, but... That looks like it's good, and that'll get pulled in when... I pop on the O-ring on the other side. Okay. Okay, guys, next it says... Mount the uh, radiator to the fan. Um, the fan is going to be pointed out this way. I can tell because, where is it? Oh, if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an arrow that points that way. So they're saying that this is up, this is the top, and this is where the airflow is going. So that's on the outside, so it's going to go into my case like this. But I want you to mount the, radi the radiator like that. And then that goes in the case, so um, let me go and start that. Okay guys, we're back, and let me just see if you can see. Okay, so um, we we plugged it in right there. I didn't plug it in, but we, um, you screw the, you know, you put the radiator into the fan, and you know, and you screw it into here. Now, this is what you want to do. Um, I know the box and everything shows it like that, you know, the friggin' cable's going that way and stuff like that. Don't be... That's not how it goes into your case. It's going to go into your case however it's going to fit. It's actually supposed to be like this. Because what happens is that's that's for the flow. They're just doing that for marketing so they, they see it, okay? In fact, I bet you the guys, the, the tech guys that actually made it, when they saw the box art, they were probably like, but that's not how it goes. And the, and the PR department was probably like, yeah, but that's the way it looks cooler. So, whatever. <laughs> anyway, well, I just see a lot of things online that said, oh, you know, you got to make sure that the, the hoses are down and everything like that. Well, exactly. In fact, it won't fit unless you have, I mean, I, don't, I have a pretty decent sized case, you know, but, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, people have bigger cases, okay, fine, but it's got to go this way, okay? And then this is, you know, the cool, the cooler thing is going to go up here. This is, the, you know, where the, the thing's going to go up like that, all right? But now we have to do the next part, which is we have to put together this O-ring thing. Uh, it says prepare the metal retention ring. Um, there's a whole lot of steps to do involving these clips and everything. I'm going to do one, and then um, I'll come back and I'll show you what I did so I can do it on camera. I'll be right back. Okay, so next. All right, so I did one. Uh, these look like they're different than... Um, the other, uh, the one I saw in the video, but you guys got to clip them into there, and then you're going to put, you're going to pick one of these two screws, mine came like this, I guess this is the updated version, mine came with the little handles, which are freaking awesome, but there's two different kinds, I'm not really sure why there's two different kinds, but mine uses this, I tested out the screw, it fits in there, so I'm going to use this one, not, not the bigger one. So there's not a whole hell of a lot of instruction on how to actually do this. You have um, a flush side here, and then you have, you know, an indented side, and then you have this little clip here. I did, uh, this is, um, they say this is H, I think. H-I, I'm not, this is I, the bottom. The other piece is the, is the top, so it looks like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, sorry if it keeps going out of focus. I'm going to put this here like that. Oops kind of sits in there. Actually, did I do the top like that? I don't remember how I did it. Let's see. Oh, I did it like that. So it'll sit in there like that. Alright. Just like that. And then you take the top piece. And I have the hole going to the top. So, sorry, I'm doing this around the camera so you guys can see it. Let's try this again. It's actually easier than I'm making it out to see in here because I'm the way I'm doing it, but there. Snapped in, okay? Let me go do the other ones. Okay, guys, so like I said, I had to change the lighting and stuff. So I'm going to use these little screws, and what you're going to do is you're going to put them all. Where did the other one go? I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. I'm missing one. Anyway. 
So you're going to pop them in all the way in like that, okay? Just like that. And what it says to do is pull this this cover off. Can you see that? Uh, pull the plastic cover off. It's supposed to have the paste. Oh, there's the paste right there. It's all on there. We're going to have some residual over there. That's good. So now what's going to happen is... Um, then it came with this ring. Uh, this is not in the instructions. I just had to figure this all out. Okay? Here's the thing. This is going <laughs> to... You're going to just attach this right to the, to the chip, just like that. Okay? You can see some marks on the grease because I already did it. Alright? What's going to happen is... I'm going to have this facing down like this. Okay? This is how I want it. So what I need to do is I need to put this on here like so. I need to make sure it's going to snap into the place I want. So I, it's facing down like that, if you guys can see. All right, It's a little awkward because of the hoses, but I'm trying not to touch the grease. But if I go like this, this is how I want it to sit. All right, But what you're going to do is you're going to snap this into place using this. Okay? This other O-ring. So this goes in here. We just find a happy little place to pop it. I just had this. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm going to do this. I can't do this with the camera. Well, that was really annoying. Okay, so, <clears throat> so I snapped them all in, and now it won't move. This seems to be different than uh, the previous year's model, I think, because uh, you used to have to put the bracket on here, loosely tighten it, which is why I was telling you guys that, and then you put this on and snap it, but now it's different. So now we're going to push this right onto the chip, and then we're going to, excuse me, and then we're going to tighten it. So let's do that, just like, oh great, of course, I'm freaking right-handed, and I'm doing it with my right hand. I will get this, I will get this. The problem is my light is not in a very good spot. There's one. Now, do it in an X pattern, it says. So, let's go over here. Oh, man, I can't get it. You know what? Let's go with the X pattern. Okay, I got it in. The back plate wasn't popped in for some reason, so now I'm just going to tighten all this up. Tight, tight, tight. Well done. Okay, Jesus. All right. That was an ordeal. Only because it's different than than the video I had watched. So, okay. So now it says what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the power cables. All right. Is that in camera? Can you see that? Okay. This one's gonna go to the the motherboard, and this one's gonna attach this fan. Is that in there? Yeah. This fan. Oh, let me do this a little bit. There we go. So this fan is gonna get attached to this. Like that. Uh, snappy snap. And then this is going to go up top. Let's see. Up top. Up top. It's going to go up top. Uh, like that. I have so much crap in here. I can't see a freaking thing. A little bit of damn light. Because I need to see, not you guys. Right now. You know what? No, I'm going to attach the CPU fan. I think I could attach it up there with only three prongs, right? I'm not a computer guru at all. I've built computers. I've built this computer. I could do that shit. But I'm not necessarily a master or anything, so I don't really freaking know. So I'm going to try attaching it to the CPU fan with only three prongs. Okay, we're back. We found it. Uh... Yeah, I, I couldn't tell whether or not I could... Uh, I wasn't sure whether I could put a three-prong and a four-prong. Like I said, I'm not a... I, I don't do this normally. I, I'm learning, I guess, still. Anyway, yeah, you can put a three-prong and a four-prong, which is a fit on the, the, the three-prong adapter, plug fit onto the four-prong socket on the motherboard. Anyway, so that's it. So that's hooked up. Back's hooked up. Everything's facing down. These things are tightened. 
Just make sure these things are tightened. And let me just check the instructions and I think connect fan to pump. Connect pump power to cable motherboard, blah, 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 blah. That's it. Done. D-U-N. So now what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to turn it on, see if I didn't break my computer. And, uh, we'll let you know in a second. Well, guys, it's in. Um, I can tell you what I, I screwed up, and when I put it in the first time, I bent the pins on the chip, and the computer wasn't working, and I freaked the hell out. I just spent the last, like, two hours trying to fix it. And then I realized that the, that I bent the, uh, prongs on the chip. And, um... Yeah, so I fixed it. It's working. It's a lot quieter than it was before because, uh, I don't know, my mother, my uh, graphics card and everything, it just, it was so freaking loud every time I'd record games and shit. Anyway, it's in there. It's working now. I closed it all up before I started recording this because, whatever, I was just mad and I didn't want to <laughs> keep it open. So anyway, seems to be working. Everything's fine. Um, that's the problem with my monitor, that it won't stop, that's why you're now a secondary monitor, when you die, you're going in the garbage or something, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so, I don't actually ever temp uh, check the temperature of my system, I never really, I don't have any, any software for that, I have an Asus motherboard, I don't, I didn't check to see if I have any things in the BIOS that does it, I don't know, probably does. Anyway, if you guys have any, um, neat little, uh, programs that will allow me to check the, the temperature of my system and everything, I don't really know what it's supposed to run at. I like I said, I'm not I'm not really into all that shit. I just want to play games, <laughs> make videos. But um, I have a little bit of knowledge. Anyway, if you guys want to leave a comment of what uh what you think I could use as a program to, you know, keep it check. If you heard that my air conditioner just went my central air, so now if it got louder, it's because of that. Now I have to yell louder. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped later.